Okay, there's one more kinematics quantity to look at. It's another vector quantity, and that's going to be acceleration. So velocity was the rate at which position is changing. But an object's velocity doesn't have to be constant. It can change. So when something's velocity changes, either to get bigger or smaller, that means that there's an acceleration. So acceleration is the rate of change of velocity as a function of time. All right, so when an object changes velocity, it is accelerating. So the car on the bottom left, it's not moving, then it starts going faster and faster and faster. That means that its velocity is increasing, which means it's accelerating in that direction. Mathematically, acceleration looks like this. It says the same thing as the definition. It is change in velocity over change in time. So final velocity minus initial velocity over the time frame you're looking at. You can also write it like this. Acceleration is delta v, change in velocity, over delta t, change in time. Now the units of acceleration, velocity is meters per second. And then time is seconds, so it's meters per second per second. So it looks like this. It's meters per second squared. Here's a quick calculation of acceleration. So we have this guy here, Naruto, he's at rest. So at time zero, velocity is zero. Five seconds later, his velocity increased, so he accelerated. And to find acceleration, it's change in velocity over change in time. So final velocity of 10 minus initial velocity of zero over time of five, which looks like that. Plugging in numbers, it's 10 over five. So his acceleration is two meters per second squared. So velocity was a vector quantity, which means there was a direction to it. Now for velocity, it's pretty easy to tell which direction the velocity is in. If something's moving in a certain direction, that's the direction of its velocity every time. For acceleration, it's a bit trickier to tell which way it's in. So here's the general rule. If something is speeding up, that means it's getting faster. That means it's going in a certain direction and the change in its velocity is also in that direction because it's increasing in magnitude. So if velocity and acceleration are both in the same direction, the object will speed up. Now let's say something's going this way, but getting slower. That means the change in its velocity is opposite its direction. So if velocity and acceleration are in opposite direction, something's going to slow down. Okay, example B, we have Goku running along Snake Way to train under King Kai. Indicate the direction of the acceleration in each of the following cases. Case A, Goku is traveling to the east and speeding up. So if something speeds up, that means that there needs to be an acceleration in the way it's already moving in. So in this case, the acceleration is going to be east. Part B, travels east and slows down. So if he's already going east, there needs to be an acceleration opposite his direction to slow him down. So in this case, the acceleration is going to be to the west. If something slows down, the acceleration is opposite the direction it's going in. Okay, C, travels east at constant velocity. So acceleration is change in velocity. Constant velocity means the velocity is not changing. So if there's no change in velocity, there's no acceleration. So here, A equals zero. Okay, now he travels west and slows down. Again, if something is slowing down, that means there has to be an acceleration opposite its direction. So if he's traveling west and he's slowing down, his acceleration is going to be east. And last one travels west and speeds up. This one's pretty easy at this point. If you're going west and speeding up, that means that the acceleration is in the same direction you're traveling in. So in this case, he's going west and the acceleration is west.
Okay, so there's a sample problem here, example C. But before that, I want to go to just the definition of acceleration, which is change in velocity over change in time. So I can write this like this. Acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity over the change in time. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. Cross multiply. Acceleration times time is final velocity minus initial velocity. And when I rearrange this, what I get is an equation for the final velocity of an object in motion in terms of its initial velocity and then its acceleration times time. So it's not a new formula. All it is is this rewritten in a different form. And this formula right here is basically the definition of acceleration. So the final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time, because all acceleration is is the rate of change of velocity over time. So we have this guy, Vegeta. He's running east at 20 meters per second. So we're dealing with velocity and acceleration. These are both vector quantities. So there needs to be a positive direction and a negative direction. So I'm going to go ahead and call east the positive direction. That's important because it says the acceleration is westward. So that's the opposite direction. So if his initial velocity is positive 20, his acceleration, which is westward, is negative 5. And it just says to calculate the acceleration at three different times. So it's just this formula here using the values given. So after two seconds, we have 20 plus acceleration negative 5 time of 2. So he was going um, positive 20 after two seconds. The velocity is still positive. And what that means, he was going in a certain direction. He's still going in that direction, just slower. OK, now to four seconds. So 20 plus acceleration, negative 5. Time is 4. And that's going to be 0. So he has 0 velocity, but he still has that acceleration of negative 5. That doesn't necessarily mean he's going to stop. He will stop for a moment. But what that means is, since he still has negative acceleration, he's going to be going east, stop just for a moment, and then turn around and start going west in the negative direction. And that'll be true here at six seconds. So at six, um, six seconds, we have 20 plus negative 5 times 6. So that's 20 plus negative 30. So negative 10. So he had a positive velocity, negative acceleration. That means that he slowed down to a temporary stop. After four seconds, now his velocity is negative and his acceleration is negative. So he's actually going to start speeding up. And that's acceleration. All right, so that's acceleration. Um, here's the important things to know about it. So acceleration is how fast velocity is changing. So it's defined as the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. It is a vector quantity, so it has both a magnitude and direction. Mathematically, it's found by taking the change in velocity over the change in time. You can rearrange that formula to get this, which lets you calculate the final velocity, assuming you know something's initial speed, its acceleration, and how long it accelerated for. And then acceleration can either make an object speed up or slow down. If the acceleration is in the same direction it's going in, so it's in the same direction as its velocity, an object will speed up. If it's in an opposite direction, it'll slow down. 